We're getting a close look at the secluded island where the late Jeffrey Epstein is accused of trafficking underage girls. We're also hearing a firsthand account from one of those alleged victims. Little St. James off the coast of St. Thomas was privately owned by Epstein until his death in August, and you can only get to this island by helicopter or private boat. The seclusion appears to have been by design, making it hard for government officials to monitor Epstein's behavior and, according to prosecutors, even harder for the young girls to escape. Little St. James may look like a tropical getaway, but authorities say Jeffrey Epstein used the private island to hide his criminal activity. So he felt that he can basically um, be protected or... He can get away with things. He can get away with it. Denise George became Attorney General of the U.S. Virgin Islands just months before Epstein's death by suicide last year. Her office is now suing Epstein's estate. Why pursue these sort of charges now? Well, all I'll have to say is why not now? Um, I, I, I cannot speak for what happened in the past at all. Um, what I do know is that because of Epstein's wealth and power, he was able to conceal a lot of this. Epstein acquired Little St. James in 1998 and nearby Great St. James 18 years later. The lawsuit seeks to confiscate Epstein's property, including the islands valued at $86 million. The convicted pedophile registered as a sex offender in the Virgin Islands in 2010 after serving time in Florida for procuring an underage girl for prostitution. But George says monitoring Epstein on his island came with unique challenges for authorities checking up on him. They were stopped at the dock and they were told that, no, this is as far as you can go because this is my private property and I will not allow you to go in any further. Court documents allege Epstein flew into Sierra Lee King Airport, the only airport on St. Thomas, and the same one we flew into earlier this week. The area that the private jets fly in mm -hmm. is separate and apart from where all from the, of commercial, the okay. commercial flights. Okay. And that also helps with the concealment. From there, Epstein allegedly shuttled underage girls to the island using two helicopters. According to the complaint, air traffic controllers and other airport personnel reported seeing Epstein with girls who appeared to be as young as 11. The attorney general tells us Epstein controlled all communication and transportation on Little St. James and that his alleged victims were essentially trapped. Remember, he owns a whole island, so it wasn't a situation where a child or a young woman would be able to just break away and run down the street to the nearest police station. Now, Epstein's island here is about two miles from St. Thomas. According to the lawsuit, one of his 15-year-old alleged victims was so desperate to escape, she actually tried to swim away. Another of Epstein's alleged victims, who spoke to CBS News on the condition that we conceal her face and voice, tells us what she said happened to her. He raped me. He brought me off the island, uh, actually to his office in St. Thomas, and he actually raped me in his office. He also trapped me in his room on the island, where he had a gun strapped to, to the bedpost. I only couldn't leave. The only means of getting off the island was either helicopter or boat. Attorney Jordan Merson represents several alleged victims suing Epstein's estate. He's encouraged others to come forward and file complaints against the estate before the legal window closes. For those people who think that they have more time than March 12, 2020, they may be wrong and they may never get their chance at justice if they do not come forward now. Well, Jeffrey Epstein's estate is disputing claims that it would use a victim's compensation fund to somehow conceal any alleged criminal activity. In a statement to CBS News, the estate insists that alleged victims would be under no obligations to keep their claims confidential. Mola Lenghi, CBS News, off Little St. James in the U.S. Virgin Islands.